Hi everyone, my name is Siobhan Davids and today I will be reviewing the 2024 Power Multiweight. So from the first time you hit the ball, you will immediately notice how big the hitting surface is. It really does feel incredibly wide and incredibly big. It doesn't feel slow to swing at all, but it's almost like you can't miss the hitting surface. If you frame this racket, you probably feel a lot worse than any other racket because the hitting surface is so big, the sweet spot's quite big. Now, in terms of the foam, what's interesting is I don't feel like it's a very hard um, surface. It does give you a little bit of a plush feedback. Quite a lot of trampoline um, off, the, off the bounce of the foam. A little bit of a trampoline effect. But I do think that I did as combined a very bouncy foam but you still get that feedback because it is still the high density foam so you get this trampoline effect but you don't lose any of the feedback that you'd normally lose with a bouncy racket so very interesting balance very interesting hitting surface i think this racket is absolutely going to shine with kick smashes and flat smashes for aesthetics, what I, my favorite part of this racket is that subtle checkerboard, almost carbon weave look that it has in the background of this heating surface. And it's really complemented by this very unique color. It's metallic on the sides, uh, this greeny yellow color, and that, it really highlights the logo on the front of the racket. I can't even put my finger on what exactly co uh, color this is, but um, call it highlight the yellow or highlight the green. Uh, it really pops and what will make this racket look even more distinct is that there is no longer an Addy Power in the 2024 range. Um, so this is definitely going to look distinct, um, very dark, very serious and um, the, with the weights on the side, absolutely unique looking. So with the volleys, compared to last year, I definitely think that the, your skill level doesn't have to be as high to control the trampolining of the volleys. The overheads really does feel amazing with this racket. It doesn't feel too bouncy. You get that power when you want it and you get that feedback exactly where you want it, especially on the more defensive overheads. Um, bandejas, vibras um, feel like you can't really miss the sweet spot, which is always the difficult part about those two shots, just finding that sweet spot. Um, the leverage you get um, off the overheads is absolutely amazing. And of course, that foam, that high density foam, gives you all the power you need to kick the ball very far out the court. Quite simply, this is a combination of that high, EVA, high density EVA foam, but you do not lose any of that softness or the trampoline effect that you expect from an Addy Power racket. What this racket manages to give you is both that bouncy, little bit of a plush feel on the ball, easy access to power with a huge hitting surface and it really does feel like a big flat hitting surface a massive sweet spot but it like i said it gives you that trampoline a little bit of a plush soft feeling but because it's that high eva density foam you get all the feedback that you would want from a high performance top tier racket um, well done to Adidas with balancing those two out. Normally, in the, especially in the Adidas range, the soft foam gives you that trampoline, but you lose that little bit of feeling. This gives you all that feedback because it's that firm foam, but you get such easy access to power. And that's what I'm really surprised that Adidas managed to accomplish. And I think if you want a very powerful racket and you like that big, big, big top sweet spot, um, this is definitely one to look at going into 2024.